Hi friends, I'm Heather. This is the 20 minute stitcher, my little corner of the internet where I talk about cross stitch. So happy you are here. Today is Sunday, December 23rd. This is episode 54. My pronouns are she, her, and I've got a lot to share today. So let's just jump right in. If you are a returning viewer, you know that in the month of November, I was doing a little thing that I was calling grateful gifts. Um, you know, I didn't really have a big celebration for hitting 50 episodes or anything like that, but I decided because I hit 50 episodes right as I was heading into November, or we were heading into November, <clears throat> that I would instead celebrate with what I was calling grateful gifts. Um, so some giveaways to celebrate um, the people who have become part of my community here on Floss Tube. So let's start with those straight away. Um, so the first thing is only one of my winners from episode 52 reached out to me, uh, with their address. So, um, where are my episode 52 prizes? Sorry. I thought I was prepared. Um, okay. I'm back. So, um, let's start with announcing the prizes, but first I'll say again, the two people who won from episode 52, who I've not heard from yet, I'll give you one more round of episodes to reach out to me. Otherwise I will redraw. Um, so from episode 52, the person who won the Jim Shore gnome ornament was Dawn Thrift. And the person who won the Cornelius pattern, the chicken club pattern was Kinsley Costner 2431. Um, so please reach out to me, um, send me an email. It's down in the description box below uh, so that I can send you your prize. So, or your, your grateful gift. I shouldn't call it a prize, your grateful gift. All right, and then for last episode, episode 53, uh, here are the winners. We'll just do it first right out of the gate and then get into the stitching. So um, for the two towels that you can stitch on, the winner was Jean, <clears throat> excuse me, Jean Becht 6264. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Jean Becht 6264. Then the winner of Florence of the Chicken Club was Lorna Buffy 8896. And finally, the cookie cutter ornaments from It's So Emma is Ms. Lee 2735. So again, same thing. <clears throat> My email address is in the description box below. Please send me an email uh, letting me know your YouTube handle, what you want, and uh, your mailing address, and I will get those in the mail as quickly as I can, along with um, the prizes or the gifts from episode 52. So again, I just want to say thank you so much for being part of my community, for helping to bring um, an extra level of fun and joy to my stitching so it feels like less of a solitary endeavor, which up until the point that I discovered floss tube is always how stitching was for me, something I just did by myself, for myself. Well, actually, when I was younger, I stitched most things as gifts, but <clears throat> now I stitch both for myself and for others. Speaking of for myself, let's get into the stitching. Ah! Um, I have a finish. Yay! I did not iron it. If you are a regular viewer, you know I don't do that stuff. I iron before I finish, before I FFO, and that's about it. So this is Positively Bedeviled by KC Cross Stitch, a pattern I purchased on Etsy, and she is done. This was one of my oldest whips. I started it in November of 2021, um, and I finished it in November of 2023. Uh, it was ridiculous that it took me that long to do it. It just got ignored for a long time, um, but she is done. So this is going to um, turn into a hoop finish and hang in my office at work um, because that's why I bought it, because I am. I am positively bedeviled with meetings. So there she is. Yay. All right, so that's my finish. And I don't think I had any new starts um, between the last time I filmed. And now, because I have fallen a little bit behind on the Lola Crow Creepy Victorian Christmas ornaments, there have been two, two more released. 
since my last video and I haven't had the opportunity to start either of them. So um, the only new start I have is the, and of course it's on the bottom of my pile here, is this year I am participating, sorry, Velcro, um, I am participating in the um, Modern Book Embroidery Evertote Roxy Flosco Collaboration Holiday Advent Calendar. Um, so I watched people stitching this last December, I had a very bad case of FOMO. Um, it looked so fun and the end result was stunning. And so I just had to do it this year. So it started on December 1st and today is December 3rd, as I said at the top of the video. I've not yet opened the day three envelope, um, but I have stitched days one and two. And here are the flosses that we opened on the first two days. So a lovely pine green and kind of a cloudy wintry sky gray is what I'm kind of referring to it. The color is frost and found. Um, but, uh, and I am caught up. My goal is to stay caught up on this thing. So I purchased the 20 count Ada. Um, and the, the color is called Turtle Dove. And here are the first two days of stitching. So again, it's a mystery style. We don't know what it'll look like. Um, but that's days one and two. And once I'm done filming this video, I'm going to open day three and hopefully have a little bit of time to stitch on it before heading to uh, church this morning. All right. And this is in one of my Tiger Lily Project Keepers. So that's my new start. All the rest is whips. And uh, this weekend is Jingle Ball weekend. So I do actually have quite a few whips to share. So um, let's start with my November Whip Go Calls. Um, oh, the one, the one was positively bedeviled, which I finished. <laughs> so my other Whip Go Call for November was the 2022 Pride Sal from Modern Folk Embroidery, Move Forward in Love. And my goal for this was um, a thousand stitches and I got a thousand eighteen. Um, I have learned a lesson this year and I'll talk about this when I film my plans video. Um, this was my first year doing Whip Go and I set, I set great goals for the, in the original intention of whip go right to to finish whips or to make significant progress on whips um but and i think i talked about this in an earlier video so i apologize i'm repeating myself but i learned that these lofty lofty goals i set for myself i made lots of progress on the, the projects that made my whip go board but that left precious little time to work on anything else so i'm gonna make some adjustments in 2024 but I did get my thousand stitches in and here's where this project is now. So you can see that I decided to focus on this dark blue that runs kind of through the whole pattern. Um, and so I finished the border of the center medallion and the kind of primary stems um, for the plants all the way around. Um, and then I added a few more green leaves over here and that put me over the top. So this will go away for a little bit, but my plans in 2024, I think will have me touching more of my whips more frequently for sort of, for fewer stitches each time, but um, uh, a rotation where everything will get some airtime, <laughs> I guess. But that is uh, Modern Folk Embroidery's Pride Sal. I am stitching this on um, a 32 count Lugana in the color Frost by Bestitch Me and using all of the called for DMC for the full color version. Right. So moving into December, well actually not moving into December. Um, I think that Sorry. I stitched on it one day <laughs> um, and it was just this one, the Creepy Carolers. Oh, that's right. Cause I did go in and add um, the second red color and one of the greens. So that is where I stand right now. This is being stitched on the called for fabric, the, uh, an elephant run by a fox and rabbit, 
I'm doing the 36 count linen uh, with all the called for DMC. So I also stitched one day on Creepy Carolers um, between the last time and today. All right, and then the rest of my stitching um, is really everything that I did this weekend um, during Jingle Ball. So that is, um, I stitched on day two of the Monofolk Embroidery. Actually, days one and two I stitched on both days at the Jingle Ball. And then I spent a ton of time working on one of my Whip Down Sal projects. So let me take a quick pause. I've not talked about the Whip Down Sal in like detail in a couple of videos. And now that we're in December, many of you might be sort of thinking the same thing that, um, you know, I've been thinking for the last couple of months is, okay, it's almost the end of the year. What can I finish in December to increase my finishes um, number before uh, the end of the year? And so that is something that is uh, something I started thinking about a few months ago. And I hopped on the bandwagon with Michelle G. Bendy Stitchy um, on hashtag Whip Down Sal 2023. And the goal there is to choose 12 or as many whips as you want or as few whips as you want um, and set a goal to finish those by the end of the year. So I did choose 12. Um, I have four left. I'm not optimistic <laughs> that I'm going to reach my overall goal, but um, I'm still finishing things. So my Positively Bedeviled was on my Whip Down Sal. The project I'm about to show is on my Whip Down Sal. Um, so yeah, I would love to have you join in. Um, like I said, it's hashtag Whip Down Sal 2023 on Instagram. And as I'm sure you're hearing everyone say now, thanks to the messed up algorithm, if you use it, I do search that hashtag once a week but it is sort of hit or miss whether Instagram shows me anything new. Um, but feel free to tag me. I'm at the 20 minute stitcher over there as well, um, or tag Bendy Stitchy and um, so that we can share your progress. I'm sweetening the pot just a tiny little bit. If you want to fill out my Gmail form or my Google form down below, uh, I am offering a small, small, don't get overexcited, a small uh, little handmade trinket um, to be shipped in January um, to everyone who fills out the form, tells me their goal, just the number, and then in January fills out another form and says, yes, I reached my goal. Um, it's all on our system. I'm not looking for photographic proof or anything like that, and it's not going to be anything super exciting, just a little handmade token um, to celebrate reaching your whip down sal goal. So if you would like to participate, it is definitely not too late. Feel free to click the link in the Google form in the description box below and fill it out. Let me know your name and the number of projects that you are hoping to finish between, you know, before the end of the year, now and the end of the year. And, uh, and then in January, I'll put that form back out again or a new form back out again and let you tell me whether you reached it or not. And uh, if you did, I'll send you a little goodie. All right, so Whoop Down Sal 2023. So I, once I finished my modern bulk embroidery piece for yesterday, I picked up Cozy Christmas Cat by the Blue Flower, which I purchased at last year's Jingle Ball, stitched on, I think, for two days, and then it got put away. So I pulled it back out. I don't know if I have a picture of where it was the last time I stitched on it. If I do, I will put it here. Um, and I put almost 400 stitches into this yesterday. Uh, and so he is now almost a complete cat. Yay. And of course he's like folded right in the middle of the stitching. There we go. <laughs> we'll just hold him like this. So there he is. He is almost a complete cat. I just have to finish his rump and the black between his front feet his little toesies and a little bit over here and the cat himself is done and then it will just be that flower um so those little floral bower that are make up the border and he'll be done so i am stitching this on a 32 count lugana in the color hot cocoa by be stitch me and i did my own floss conversion from stash um so this is very little if any is the actual called for floss uh, I think I converted absolutely everything. Um, yeah, so I did my own floss conversion 
if anyone's interested in it, I'd be happy to share it. You can just ping me on Instagram or drop a comment here. Um, but it's a mix of, of silks and cottons that were just in my stash. So that is um, Cozy Christmas Cat. And his name is Douglas. Because when I was stitching yesterday, Deanna, Darling and Whimsy Designs, I held him up and she said, oh, he looks so dapper. And I said, why, thank you. He's Dapper Douglas. So, that's Dapper Douglas. All right. And then I spent a little bit of time. I decided, oh, it's December. I should probably work on my Whipco projects a little bit. And I only picked one to work on. And I worked on it just a tiny, tiny little bit because I ended up deciding that stitching this with only the paper chart was going to make me insane. Um, so I ended up going and purchasing the digital version of the chart and then getting my Markup RXP app sort of caught up to where I was. But the chart is um, Modern Folk Embroidery Here Be Dragons. Again, if you are a regular viewer of my channel, you know how much I love dragons. And um, this is just such a cool uh, so I purchased the Evertote um, kit that they put together for this chart, which is why I have the paper chart, but now I have the digital one too. And I started this last December. I stitched on it, I think, for literally one day uh, and then didn't touch it again until yesterday. But this is one of my December Whipgo calls. Um, the goal was 10 days because it was a paper chart. Um, so now I'm going to be changing that to a thousand stitches and because that was kind of the thinking. If I stitch 100 stitches a day, um, you know, then that gets me 1,000 stitches. So now it's 1,000 stitches. Um, so this is essentially where it was before, quite honestly. I added maybe 25 stitches yesterday um, before I decided that I needed to do the digital one, and I spent the rest of my time kind of getting it into my Markup RxP app and getting all of these stitches marked um, so that I can more easily follow where I am now or where I am, you know, as I move forward. But this is where I am right now. Like I said, this was the kit that I purchased from Evertote. The fabric is 36 count linen in the color Catnap. And the floss is, uh, I forget the color, Plum Shadow is the name of the floss. So it's a very muted kind of purpley gray. It's really, it's really pretty on, uh, on this fabric. So nothing too exciting yet <laughs> there, but um, it will because it will have about 975 more stitches put in it during the month of December. So stay tuned. Uh, this one will grow a lot this month. And that's all the stitching I have to share for you. Um, my other Whipgo call for December, I haven't worked on it at all yet, but I will show it to you kind of where it is right now. That chart is The Reindeer by Cottage Garden Samplings. Um, and my goal for this one, I think, was six days. Um, and it is a paper chart, so that's what it'll be. It will be six days. And this one I pulled out a little earlier in the year. Um, so it has a little more progress. But that's where he is right now. So his antlers are mostly done. And I'm stitching this, I believe, with all the called for floss. I might be doing some of the DMC conversions. Um, I mean, most of the colors are DMC, but there's one Gentle Arts and one Weeks. So if I didn't have those in stash, I probably just am using the DMC conversion. And I am stitching this on a 28 count Lugana in the color Nonsense by Wonderland Hand Dyed Fabrics, which if you have not heard of them before, I encourage you to go check them out. Um, this is my friend Jamie. This is her company. And um, the fabric is so soft and her colors are so pretty. Um, so you can see it's kind of like a cloudy blue, wintry sky. I mean, it, I live in Ohio. This is kind of what our skies look like in the winter. So I'm like, oh, well, that seems appropriate for a wintry reindeer piece. So again, that's Wonderland hand dyed fabrics. All right. Well, friends, that's all I have for you today. Um, I hope that your December is starting out well. Um, I will probably be posting this video later today. Um, like I said, I'm heading to church here soon with my daughter. And, um, oh, wait, I was going to share my November stats. Ah, see, this was my, November was my first full month 
using my new Notion template from Stitchy Nati. Um, and one of the sort of formulas templates that she built in is a, is a November or not just November is a monthly, like the, the stats in this thing are incredible. Um, so I actually did put it up on my Instagram, but for the month of November, I was fortunate in that everything I stitched was a digital pattern. So I was able to, to fully track all of my stitching. Um, I stitched on five projects total. I had the one finish, which I already showed you the two new starts, um, which were the two ornaments for Lola Crow. I stitched 18 out of the 30 days for a total of 2,804 stitches, uh, which isn't too bad for me. Um, you know, with as busy as I am and going into the holiday season, my son's birthday is in November. Um, so there were, that was actually quite a lot of stitching for me. So, um, so yeah, I'm excited to be able to share those stats each month um, as I as I move forward um, in using this template. So, uh, all right, now I'm gonna sign off. I hope, every, oh my gosh, no I'm not. This video is turning into a hot mess. I do have a couple of acquisitions to share. See, I'm just, just dragging it, but wait, there's more. If you call within the next two minutes. No. All right, so I do have a few acquisitions as I am preparing to, um, finishing preparing my kits for 2024. Um, I have purchased a few other things. I've purchased floss, I'm not really sharing that, um, but I did purchase a couple of pieces of fabric um, and I did purchase some new charts, which seems counterintuitive because I've already made my plans for 2024. So who knows when these are actually gonna get stitched, but they were too cute. So really this is what brought me in. So this is, if you've not seen it, um, a new Quirky Quaker from Deanna at Darling and Whimsy Designs. And this is an exclusive to the Top Knot Stitcher Shop. Um, you can only get it from Abby. And isn't she cute? The little mouse. Um, and little jam peeking at the mouse. So I saw this and had to get it. And because things can't travel alone, um, I also picked up a chart off of my wish list. This is October by Tiny Modernist. Probably won't stitch any of the other months. I just thought that raccoon was too cute, and so I had to have it. <laughs> so this had been on my wish list for a little while, and I picked it up. Um, and then this was not, well, actually it was on my wish list, but this is a newer release, right? Christmas Parade by Cottage Garden Samplings. I kind of want to start this right now because it is just too stinking cute. Um, and I know there is a sal that started on December 1st of this. Um, I don't remember the hashtag or even who's involved in it. I just know that I, I just know I saw it on Instagram that there is a sal starting on this on December 1st. So um, if you're interested, if you have this too, um, go over to Instagram, plug in a search and I'm sure you'll be able to find it. Um, okay. And then to support my kidding of projects in 2024, if you watched my last video, you might recall, um, that I am stitching all of the statehood splendor patterns from thread milk designs for all the states that I have lived in, um, in my life. And I was stitching them all on the same fabric. And I thought that I had saved the rest of my fat quarter of that fabric for those charts. But when I went to kit a couple of them up for 2024, I had no more of that fabric. I clearly had used it for other things. So <laughs> I ordered another fat quarter, of sand dollar um, 32 count lugana from bestitch me um, so this is what's left because i've already kitted those two charts that are part of my 2024 plans but here's the rest of it um, that i will probably have to put somewhere separate so that i don't accidentally stitch it again or uh use it up again and then i also purchased it's still in the bag sorry and i won't take it out um, this is a 40 count even weave in the color gray magic. Um, and I haven't yet decided which chart I am going to use this for. I might, since it's 40 count, I might be able to use it for both. I have to do the math and figure it out. But two of my charts for 2024 that I haven't kitted yet um, are Sleepy Hollow by Hello from Liz Matthews and um, Pumpkin Coach by Tiny Modernist, which was her October Patreon exclusive chart. Um, and if they will both fit on this fabric, then I will probably use this fabric for both of them, but um, great magic. Okay, those were all my acquisitions. Now for real, that's everything. <laughs> See this? 
it's still full and it's starting to show. I clearly should have drank this first. Drink. Should have had finished my coffee before I filmed. All right, this is quickly becoming a train wreck. I'm going to sign off. I hope everyone is having a wonderful start to the month of December. I want to give a special shout out to my friend Katie, the novel stitcher. She got married this weekend, everyone. So um, if you know Katie or if you watch her channel, um, be sure to send her some congratulations because uh, it's a very special weekend for her. Um, perhaps I'll see some of you at the Jingle Ball later today. Uh, and uh, I hope you enjoyed. Would love to hear kind of what you're thinking for your 2024 plans. I do plan to film separate um, Whip Parade and, and plans videos later this month. Um, so stay tuned for those. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for me today. So uh, as always, hug your loved ones, take care of yourself, have a fabulous day, and happy stitching. Bye.